Yes, is a family affair, and one family has a very special link to this event. That's right. Rick Betts was one of the men who founded Hoop Fest 25 years ago, and today, KXLY Force. And uh, Rick Betts is one of the fathers of Hoop Fest, as you said. And 25 years ago, he and a small group of people had a vision. They wanted Spokane to have something that we're all enjoying right now. You know, Betts is also the father of three bright young men. And today, he soaked up the entire experience. Rick Betts is one proud dad. So it's a great morning. His three sons are here, and he couldn't be happier. Brian and Tom are in from New York, where they work. Dave, well, he's here all the way from Ethiopia. Back in the day, all three had their own teams. Once all the boys were playing, it was too much work to go around and try and hit all their games and play myself. And so about 15 years ago, the Betts patriarch decided to have a family team. Betts Boys was born. The eldest son, Brian, played at the very first Hoop Fest 25 years ago, just like Dad. You know, in the back of your mind, you're worried that it won't be as good as uh, the following year, um, or the previous year, but every year it seems to exceed that. Now, because they're all on the same team, well, how should I put this? Rick doesn't get to play as much as he'd like. Apparently they think I'm not, you know, an asset to the team. I won't comment on that. You better cover every single game. Do not miss a second because, you know, I struggle scoring because they don't throw me the ball. Well, you know, I think most years that he does. But, you know, we, uh, you know, sometimes we maybe just have to pay off the other team or something. Uh, but we make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> Bet's boys didn't take this game, but that's really never been the point of Hoop Fest for them, says Brian's mom, Katie. They see their friends. They play with their family. Uh, it's like a big reunion of sorts. We, our whole lives we sort of played together anyway, so it just made sense to come out here and do it at Hoop Fest as well, I suppose. It's been fun because obviously I see what a great party it is for everyone in Spokane. And, uh, you know, it's a fitness thing, it's a sports thing, and uh, it's a reunion. If you want to follow the bets, boys, I certainly recommend that you do. Download that Hoop Fest app. You can follow them on there. You just have to search their last name, Bets, B E T T Z. They're a fun team to watch. Reporting live downtown, I'm Casey Lund for KXOI 4 News. All right, pretty cool. And Casey will introduce you to another very special Hoop Fest family tonight at 6 o'clock. Yeah, Stephen Shawls serves in the U.S. Army and is stationed.